you're so sweet. This is horrible to do to a person who loves animals. I do not need more animals, oh my God. But they're so adorable. If y'all get these puppies and you separate these sisters, I will haunt you when I'm dead. What's up, y'all? I'm Kelly Clarkson, and I am hanging out with puppies while answering y'all's questions. So it's basically the best afternoon ever. Okay, here we go. Let's start. You want it. You want this one. If something went down and you had one phone call to get someone to help you out, who do you call? <laughs> uh, Blake Shelton, Adam Levine, or Alicia Keys? Oh, it depends on the scenario. I mean, I think I'd call Blake. We've I know him a little better than the, the others, but I don't know. I feel like Adam could charm my way out of a situation. And Alicia Keys has this weird gravitational pull to like humans, so she could help me out too. I don't know. People fall for the Southern charm. I'd probably call Blake. I'd probably call him. Have you heard from any of the people who influenced Meaning of Life? Tony Braxton, Bonnie Raitt, Michelle Obama, I Carrie, it's so weird that you say this because I did get a handwritten letter from Michelle Obama. Um, about Go High, which I obviously wrote inspired by the message, you know, she gave it the Democratic Convention. That's why I said it to her. It's the Democratic Convention. And um, they like to tickle your toes. Okay, let's, um, he likes my rainbow nails. Um, you gotta stop tickling my toes. Um, it's an emergency and you need a babysitter. <laughs> Simon Cowell, Paula Abdul, or Justin Guarini. I like a, a, a person that can discipline, so I'm probably gonna pick Simon. And he is a kiddo now, so he knows how to lay down the law. Watch him actually be a softy with kids, though. Hey, you wanna play? Name a Disney character you'd love to sing a duet with. That's hard. Uh, I actually really dig Pocahontas, the voice of Pocahontas. I, I think her voice is amazing. She was just rad. You know, and I feel like a lot of the princesses are like damsels. And she was like, I got this, John Smith, follow me. Like, I love her. Um, my daughter loves Pocahontas too. <laughs> Tickle. <laughs> you, you, you like pantyhose, my man. Ow! <laughs> what is one thing you learned from the artist on your team on The Voice? Um, I get, <laughs> I begin to attack. No, no! <laughs> I guess I'd say I don't really get nervous, so it's been kind of a, a thing to help people with nervous energy. Um, I don't actually know that I'm helpful, because I'm like, just get over it. You might suck, you might do great, <laughs> like, you know? But um, probably just how to really be a coach. And you know, instead of me just doing, I have to kind of help like mold and teach. They're everywhere, I love it. I mean, does he love me or what? Like, he has not left me. I love you. Here, let me answer another one. You wanna, you wanna help me? Um, what's the first thing you do when you find yourself home alone? Oh, I cry of happiness. <laughs> Hold on, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> um, you, I, I don't know, I guess I grab a glass of wine, y'all. That's not, that's few and far between. We have four kids, so. And oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So in 2012, you said you had a killer song that you wanted Pink, Gaga, and Jesse J to sing with you. What happened to that? Well. No one answered, so. <laughs> no one answered my call, so. I didn't actually call them, I just sent it on Twitter, because I didn't want to be awkward if they didn't want to do it. So, um, but I did, it was a song that was actually ended up on my album, Piece by Piece, um, and it was called Dance With Me. Come on and dance with me. It's like this like Bowie kind of ABBA vibe, and I love it. And um, like literally, you're so beautiful, and you will not leave me, and I love him. What song would you really like to cover as a fan request on your next tour? Anything from the Harry Styles album. I love it. Or Evolve, Imagine Dragons, because that's good. Um, I, love, I love both those albums right now. They're pretty rad. Or Cardi B, because I just think it'd be fun to watch me sing like red bottom shoes. I just would be bad. Red bottom heels? No, wait, did I say it wrong? See, already I'm not, it's not a fit. I've grown up listening to so many of your songs. Which one is your favorite to perform? Ooh. My favorite old school song, like from the beginning, is Miss Independent Still. Live, it's so much better than on record. My favorite new song ever to perform, like above all, is Whole Lotta Woman off this new album, Meaning of Life. It is, it gives me life on so many levels. Oh my God. 
on my, f I can't. This is the worst situation for me. I'm gonna buy all these dogs or take them home. What is the silliest gift you have ever received? Whoop! <laughs> um, it was at a show and a girl threw me her brawl. And it was supposed to be funny, like we support you. Um, <laughs> get it? But I was like, this is not an Aerosmith concert. <laughs> like, this is a Kelly Clarkson concert. <laughs> like, but it was funny. So points for being clever. I would have a beer with you. I would have some wine with you. I don't really enjoy beer too much. If you could team up with four other badass women to form a girl band, who would you pick? Ooh, I'd probably pick who I said earlier that I wanted to sing. I'd probably pick Pink and Jesse J. I mean, God, I love so many Adele. Alicia Keys, like I have to pick a bunch of just like soulful singers. There's a lot of women I love. Demi, I love Demi. Um, what was it like to finally meet Steve Carell in person and how did you feel about that? No, Kelly Clarkson! It was awesome. You know why it was awesome? Because he was actually really cool. Sometimes you meet people and uh, that doesn't happen. Exactly, they know what I'm talking about. Exactly, that's what you want to do to them. Okay, one more. Did you ever vote for anyone else while you were on American Idol? Did you ever vote for yourself? I never, never voted on my season, not even for myself, which is dumb. Like I should have. I really don't need a dog, like another dog. Um, but somebody does, you need love. You need this love. And like, why would you not want this? Look at this, this is loyalty. You're just, you're just like, it's story time. Oh, your eyes. I'm getting sucked into the vortex. My husband will kill me. Y'all, so if you want any of them, come on. They're so cute. We got Leo, Thelma and Louise, we got Copper. And look, they want a home. They need a home. And you can do it. Puppies are so much cooler than humans. Like, come on. All right, so if you want one of them, y'all gotta look up. North Shore, Animal League America. You gotta find them. You gotta, you gotta make a little friend for life. And don't separate the sisters, please. Come on, get Thelma and Louise together. They could be buddies. Um, what? He's taking it down. I love these dogs. <laughs>